So we're starting unit five today, which is probability, and we're looking at 5.1, which is probability and odds, and that's on pages 304 to 312 in your text. So our curriculum outcome is to uh, extend understanding of odds and probability. And our lesson objectives today, the first one is to be able to understand and write the odds of an event occurring. Uh, number two, to be able to write the probabilities and state the odds of an event occurring when given the probability of an event occurring. And three, to make informed decisions based on odds and probability. So odds are written as ratios, and you can state the odds of an event occurring or its complement, which are the odds of an event not occurring. So the odds in favor of an event occurring, you'd write it as a ratio of the number of favorable outcomes over the number of unfavorable outcomes. And the odds against event occurring would be the number of unfavorable outcomes compared to the number of favorable outcomes. So here's our example. It says, suppose there's a 60% chance that it will rain today. What are the odds of this occurring? Well, 60% chance means it's six out of 10 chance that it's going to rain. That means um, you could look at it this way. If we had 10 days, um, six of those days there should be rain. So what we're looking at is uh, a ratio of six to four because six days that it's gonna rain, four days that it's not. Or six chances that it's gonna rain, four chances that it's not. And so that uh, those odds would be a three to two ratio. The odds would be three to two that it's going to rain today. Here's another example. So suppose you roll a 12-sided die. What are the odds that you will roll a number divisible by three? So remember that if we're doing odds, we're looking for favorable compared to non-favorable. So favorable outcomes here, we need to know how many ways you could roll a number divisible by three. Well, you could roll a three, a six, a nine, or a 12. So that means you have four favorable outcomes. And that means you have eight outcomes that are not favorable. And that would reduce to a ratio of one to two. So for every favorable outcome, you could roll two outcomes that are not favorable. Um, example number two, it says if the odds of the Chicago Blackhawks winning the Stanley Cup are, that should say are, 4 to 15, and the odds of the Pittsburgh Penguins winning the Stanley Cup are 2 to 7, determine the probability of each of these teams winning the Cup. So this is just going from an odd sort of thing to a probability. So we know that for the Chicago Blackhawks, it, it's 4 out of a total of 19. You'd have to add these two things together because you have the the number of chances that they're going to win and the number of chances that they're not going to win. That's four to 15, so that's a four over 19 as your probability. And that gives you, when you divide those things and turn it into a percentage, 21%. For the Pittsburgh Penguins, that's a two to seven is your odds, but that would be two out of nine total that are going to be wins, and that is a 22% chance. So it looks like the odds givers in Las Vegas um, have determined that the Pittsburgh Penguins have a, a little bit better chance of winning the Stanley Cup than the Chicago Blackhawks. So in summary, you can write odds as ratios and state them as either the odds in favor of an event occurring or the odds against an event occurring. You need to be able to take odds and write them as probabilities and take probabilities and write them as odds. And you need to be able to compare odds and probabilities and that can allow you to make informed decisions about the chances of an event occurring. So your assignment is on pages 310 to 312. Good luck, and we'll see you in class.